Data mine in a nutshell, November 2024. Guys, this is part two of my data mine in a nutshell series. In part one, I talk about all the sync pair scouts. If you haven't seen this video yet, link will be down there in the description. So check that out. Meanwhile, on part two, we talk about all the events in chronological order. Starting off, guys, with the biggest thing what we have been speculating from the update, and that is super awakening the game gives us a chance to super awaken our sync pairs because you know you cannot exactly benefit from this new feature unless you have your sync pairs or you have your poke fairs select poke fairs five out of five not to mention that is super sus and super whaley but the game gives you a chance of making your um lance and dragonite cynthia and garchomp and Steven and Metagross, I'm talking about the original ones, the old ones, not the arc suits. The game gives you a chance to 5 out of 5 them with some tiered scouts. And take note, tiered scouts are paid. These are paid tiered scouts. But whenever you scout on those tiered scouts, you get a move candy coin or, a, or rather a custom move candy for either Lance, Cynthia, or Steven. And using that move candy, you can either level their moves, sing moves up by one, or you can exchange this custom move candy for a super awakening candy which you can give them and you know just level up their super awakening something you know it maxes out at five and after you max them out you get a brand new passive skill the passive skills are kind of op some more op than the others i will have another video dedicated to just those passive skills but in the meantime that's all you need to know now let's move on with the um, newest event, which is Cygna Siblings All Aboard, starting with, of, uh, or rather, starting on October 31, and last day is on November 17. And in this event, we will be featuring Cygna Suit Emmet and Cygna Suit Ingo with their respective partners. So good luck. And these also will have their Super Awakening unlocked. And you can, uh, when you scout on their banners, I think on tier 5 and tier 10, you get a Super Awakening candy or something. And you can give either to them or to other sync pairs that you have maxed out at 5 out of 5. I have to emphasize that because unless you have your sync pairs maxed out 5 out of 5, you cannot benefit from the Super Awakening thingy. All right. Together with this event, we also have an extreme battle event. Passio Subway starts on November 1, ends on December 6. And starting November 1 as well, we have Trainer Lodge. You can invite Shauna. And by having her friendship level 100, you can pair up with Delic Hattie. Speaking of which, November 1 is my mom's birthday. So happy birthday to my mom. And then also on November 1, you will be able to exchange your damage exchange tickets with to scout or rather to pair up with Tierno and Talon Flame. So that's another new sync pair for you guys. All right. Also on November 4, we have a rerun event. Story event all aboard the Victory Train and Emmet and Ingo will be scoutable. If I'm not mistaken, check out my scouting video if you haven't. And all of these sync pairs will also have their EX roles as well as their um, Super Awakening unlocked. All right, November 6, you have your Fighting and Steel Conquer high score event. And you can also scout for some sync pairs here uh, to for this event as well november 8th you have a brand new ultimate battle i think this is the last one so far you have nemona's lightning spirit now i have already fought with nemona uh in battle rally if you haven't seen it yet link will be somewhere in my channel i will not link it here but check it out i had a hard time with this fight but if you want to you know We'll be able to experience this together on November 8th. November 9th, you have a brand new Poke Fair again with Academy Founding Chapter Great Infernal Arrival featuring Aerie and Annihilate. 
And this is the third team star member to arrive in Pasio. I'm wondering if all the team star members will be the academy instructors or something like that. Anyway, November 16, you have two more Poke Fairs. Hi, yeah, so many Poke Fairs. Story event, Mysterious Kalos Duo featuring um, these two. Dexio and I totally forgot the other one. I am so sorry. But I'm sorry. Next, November 21 is EV Day, and we have um, able, we're able to scout for Callum, for um, Hilda and Hilbert on a combined uh, triple variety scout, or they also have a paid route with their tiered scouts, and you will be able to, you know, pair up with them if you're lucky. But that's a combined banner, and the chances of getting a combined banner character, I think, is 1.5% percent if i'm not mistaken or or is it lower correct me if i'm wrong or it's just one percent i don't know but also with this you have your ev day celebration you can get an ev ticket or rather that ticket to scout for a random evolution not your choice just random good luck if you're aiming for the new characters maybe you'll be able to get them maybe you'll be able to get some of the old ones now you have another rank damage event super sparring number four on november 21 to 28 and i think these are the featured opponents that you'll be able to fight against and then on november 21 to december 5 you have your many possibilities egg event where you can probably hatch one of these, this is just a rerun event, and all of these have nice um things. I can you can you can bring rain, you can bring electric terrain, sunny day, uh, psychic terrain, dark zone, uh, grassy terrain, ice zone, fairy zone. So check that out if you haven't completed your EVs as as well as their shinies, you might be able to get them here. Now, you also have a rerun of a story event, Travelers from a Distant Past, as well as a story event, Let's Go in Search of Wonder. I haven't exactly checked if this is just story only, which I'm sus now because I, you know, we have had several story events rerun and you can only watch the story and not battle any stages. So I'm worried that that might be the same thing, but I haven't exactly checked yet. But yeah. We have two event reruns. And on November 3, 23 rather, you have a question. Well, there's a compensation or a rally or a community event. It's not yet confirmed in the data mine and stuff. But there's going to be something happening on November 23. Maybe we'll be receiving items. Maybe it's a community event. Maybe it's a Twitter event or X thing. Maybe something else. But it ends on December 7. And hopefully we can get some Super Awakening candies here or something to that regard. And last but not the least, we have Pokemon Masters Day on November 25. Where um, this thing will be having Will. Six star EX, green character, um, green mask now, and Luzamin, you know, Luzamin and Feromosa, who has been one of the worst. I really dislike getting her in Optimize. She will finally be getting a power up, but the power up is not exactly that crazy, so I'm kind of sad about that. But Luzamin will be getting a power up here. So that's the last thing. But one more thing is the damage challenge schedule. So check this out. Those are your uh, damage challenge training with whatever character updated schedule. And this is just a rerun of, you know, whatever damage challenge we have. And the good thing about the reruns is we still get the gems. If I'm not mistaken, we still get the damage tickets or something like that. So yeah. That's a nice thing that we have over here. And with that, that is the end of this video. And if you enjoyed it and you want to help me out monetarily, I would highly appreciate it if you would go to my coffee page and help me out because I am bankrupt after my Animal Flow mentorship. I'm back. My YouTube is just barely there trying to get these videos out, trying to get some YouTube revenue right now. And if you want to support me as well, you can go and click on the join button down below and join these members over here with supporting my channel. But until then, guys, that is the end of this video. 
and I will probably not be sleeping tonight making the remaining videos for you guys. So until then, wish me luck. Rawr. Oh, by the way, thank you Gizmohey for this hat. Hey!